In today's episode, it's all about the juicy pineapple. The pineapple. Here's the thing. This top part here, so this is how it grows in the dirt, the bottom here being the roots. This is the top part. I'm just gonna chop this off here. This is going to be the next pineapple. So you would plant this part into the dirt and a new pineapple will grow up from there. Push this over for a second. What I want to impress on you all is that a pineapple, after it's been harvested, so after they pick it out of the fields, it will not ripen further. So this one here, the coloring that you see, um, yeah, it may change color on you, but as far as sweetness and everything goes, it does not get sweeter because it doesn't ripen. So that's the problem with most of the times when we get stuff in North America that's been planted in the tropics is that it's harvested before it's fully mature to be able to reach to us without rotting. So we don't get it at, at its peak. I'll just quickly show you guys how to break it down. Now, if you find that the bottom is curved, you can give it a cut on the bottom as well, just to give it a uh, an even um, surface to lay on. The pineapple is indigenous to South America, more so um, Brazil and uh, Paraguay. It was first domesticated in Peru and um, and Mexico, anywhere between 1200 BC and 800 BC by the Aztec and the, the Mayans. And the Portuguese took it from Brazil to India, I guess down in Goa, down there where they had their little colony going back in 1550. So what I did was I went around the entire thing with a sort of a sawing motion, and you can use a serrated knife if you want. Um, you know, a lot of people watching me with the skin here and they're thinking, yeah, you can make juice with the skin. What you would do, you would boil it and then extract all of the juice out of it. Then you would sweeten it with sugar and, and, and you'd add a little lime juice or something in there. And it's a beautiful, cold, refreshing drink. What I must stress is that a lot of times these in the fields, they're sprayed with, with chemicals, with um, herbicide and pesticides and stuff like that. Um, so you really want to be careful if you get an organic, well, yeah, I would say that. So after you've cut it into the two pieces here, what I like to do again, using the, and I cut it down the center, I'm gonna cut it again. I use that flat surface to be flat on the chopping board. And then another wedge like so. What I want to impress on you also, there is a core in the center. And you want to remove that core. You can make juice with that. Some people snack on it because it's very crunchy and it has that sort of sweet flavor. So there we go, we got a pineapple wedge. <clears throat> now as far as uses for the pineapple, we've all been to the Brazilian steakhouse where they grill them, beautifully grilled. We've had it as a burger topping. We've had it grilled and caramelized. Um, so yeah, as a fruit itself, it's very delicious. Um, we make juices with it, so you can put this into a, into a blender or a food processor and juice it out. And you got some nice juice going on there. It's, it's used in a lot of desserts and cakes and pastries and stuff like that. The, um, the pineapple is also um, used for making a vinegar. And my um, Filipino friends will know what I'm talking about. So the other way I can do it is down the center like this. Down the center like that and again I'm using the bottom part here it's a bit tarnished as the flat surface to work it the other thing I wanted to mention is that when I'm um, when buying it try to you know, use your nose man try to get something that's very fragrant the more fragrant it is um, the better tasting it will be in my uh, in my experience anyways so juices, snacks, we all know that debate about pineapple being on pizza, whether it belongs there or not. In my humble opinion, it does. But pineapple, nice, juicy, sweet. Now, some people may find that eating raw pineapple like this, because it can be fibrous, may irritate the, your gums, uh, your, your top, just above your tongue there. What I've seen my sister do is, after she's peeled it and, and she has it in the wedges, 
she would rub it in salt. Hey, it's Chris. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If there's a certain fruit you'd like for me to cover, something you consider exotic, drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and tell your friends about it. If you're looking for recipes featuring some of these fruits and sometimes vegetables, which are considered to be exotic, check out CaribbeanPod.com. Irie? Pineapple is also used in um, with, with, with pork. It works great with pork, man. So when you're roasting your pork dishes, and I like adding it to when I'm making jerk chicken, jerk pork, and all that kind of stuff, because the sweetness from the pineapple tends to balance off the heat of the jerk marinade. Plus, when that caramelizes, I'm telling you, boy, that thing tastes really good. So Chris here, Food FAQ, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, Pineapples.